Hi, it's Stella from Impul University, and this is Stella Short and Sweet Preview for Rocketman from Phalanx. Launch missions to the Earth's orbit, the moons, or Mars with enough money and research for highly profitable missions. This Martin Wallace's game plays 1 to 4 players with mechanics such as deck building, push your luck, and hand management. The game is of medium complexity. In Rocketman, players are trying to get better cards on their own personal deck, deck building style, to be more efficient in space traveling. On the play's turn, they draw 6 cards from their deck, use them to buy new cards, or use it for its written benefit, or pay and put aside for mission and its requirement. At the end of the player's turn, they can opt to launch their mission, if they have met the requirements of rocket points. Player then draws mission success common cards to see how far their rocket goes. If they reach destination, they place their token on mission site, get the points and a permanent bonus, usually to make their next mission easier. Then the next player clockwise do similar turn. Game ends when a player reaches certain victory points or when there is at least one mission token on all 12 mission spaces, or when a player completes a number of missions and decides to end the game, play with the most points wins. Generally, when you launch your mission, you want to have some cards set up for boosting the mission, with the same symbol as destination, for example, computer chip for reaching Earth's orbit. This is to help you boost your rocket power, to ensure your mission is a success. Because doing a mission is generally the thing that gets you the most point. Unless if you want to risk it and hoping to draw higher number mission success cards. I've tried myself with no booster and failed my mission. I guess you need to have the right cards for the combos to mitigate the risk. Because if you fail your mission, you discard all the cards you set up for that mission. I feel it has some unique deck building mechanics less random because you can set your cards out and not reshuffling them every time back to your deck, if you want to. If you want to try deck building with a twist, it might be worth looking into Rocketman. So thanks for watching guys, at the time of filming, Rocketman is about to be launched on Kickstarter, so I'll put the link in the description when it is live. If you have any questions for me, please write in the comment sections below. You would help us by subscribing to Mipun University and hit the bell so you won't miss anything from us. I also share my board games journey on Instagram, so hopefully I'll see you there too. Until next time!